How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be looking at Fighting Armor Thor from Sentinel Toys. And this is my first fighting armor figure that I'll have in hand. I do have the Captain America figure coming one of these days. Today, though, we'll be checking out Thor. So quick look at the packaging. Nice figure shot on the back. Some more figure shots. Really, really nice. All right, inside. That's a beautiful shot. That is a beautiful shot. Thor, let's get him out. Blister shot. All right, very cool. First impression of this guy out of the package was his weight. He has a metal trouser loin piece here, and I'm not sure if there's any more metal on the inside of the figure, maybe some of his joints but the torso seems to all be plastic. Even though the paint on the helmet, on the boots, makes it look like those elements are metal, but they're plastic, just really, really well painted. His weight and his center of gravity, like his balance feels amazing. Second impression was all of the really beautiful paint. You have kind of like blue steel, I guess, kind of like a light blue steel on the thighs, the arms, but then you have a really brilliant red metallic on those areas and that really shiny, bright gold over here on the thigh. You see the contrast between a really bright silver and that kind of muted light blue steel. Really nice, check that out. Really, really dope. I'm guessing all these circles are like energy jets or something, kind of like maybe like repulsors or something. Especially here on the calves, it looks like it propels him. Possibly even here on the back of the thigh. I don't know what they would be doing here. I guess maybe for like lateral movements in flight. I mean, I guess that makes sense. And I guess this is to kind of keep him up. And while we're here, I mean, look at that shine. Really, really nice. I mean, this is an absolutely beautiful figure. His weight, the paint, and the sculpting. Outstanding. Let's look at the back. This little port right here is for the stand. So you can get him into some free-floating stances. These ports are for the cape. Those two pegs there. And it has a high position and a low position for the cape. And we'll look at that also. Quick look at the stance there. Beautiful stuff, man. Beautiful stuff. Let's jump right into articulation while we have them here because I wanna see all of the joints, especially in the torso while we articulate and then we'll do some action poses and play with the cape on. So starting out at the top, you've got that really generous neck and head movement on these extremely articulated figs. Right, look at that tilt, that wobble. You've got some excellent look upward. Amazing, amazing look down. I mean, check that out. Beautiful stuff. At the shoulders, you're gonna get 90 degrees, maybe a little bit better. You do have full rotation at the shoulders. You notice that you have this little panel that keeps moving with us in that butterfly joint and it is concealing and hiding the joint in there and that is really really cool it moves really well you have a swivel at the bicep because of the unique sculpting that you have going on here this weird cut it allows though for enhanced range here in the double jointed pinless elbow at the torso and this is where it gets really interesting. You have multiple panels. You have the chest panel, you have a diaphragm panel, and then you have like a lower abdomen panel. And you got three cuts with three layers of movement. So for example, if I just move the chest plate, I can move it forward, I can move it backward. If I activate this diaphragm cut I'm calling it, I can move that forward with the chest forward, and I can move them both backward. And then I can also activate the waist and give him more range 
backward. And wow, check this out. Even if I push him all the way back, he still stands. Perfectly balanced. He doesn't have oversized feet at all, but it's that center of gravity because of the metal that he has here, I believe. Really, really impressive stuff. Wow, look at that. I adjusted him a little bit. That's some really decent lean. Impressive, right? So this thing, this thing is just engineered masterfully. You've got all that movement that we just looked at. You've got twist at that panel, a little bit of twist here at this panel, and a little bit of side to side twist at the lower, lower waist. At the legs, these things have these unique ball joints there. They're super large and they are very, very strong. I don't want to say they're tight because they're smooth. They're not ratcheted, but they feel so sturdy. Very impressive stuff. They have a drop down of the hip that'll enhance articulation, give you more range forward, the side. Let's look at our split. Backward. I'm telling you, they're very strong. That is a lot of range backward at the toe. Good down. You have good range up. And if you move this panel here, you get more range up. Really nice. And the knees themselves are like super double jointed. Great weight, great center of balance, great paint apps. And I love the sculpting. Let's take a look at the cape. It has a thick, hefty wire. It does go all the way down and around. And this thing has that beautiful red, Iron Man red looking paint. I'm just not sure how I feel about the bulkiness of it. We'll see how it looks on him. The pegs themselves do have some movement in here, as you can see there. So you can articulate this while it is on him. So let's go ahead and put it on. Look from the front. I got Mjolnir in the shot. All right, let's take a quick look and see what we've got going on here. Nice bit of sculpting here on the ends of Mjolnir. Same design on both sides. Really nice. Little shot there of the God of Thunder. Man, the proportions on him and his silhouette, very, very dope. Nice little shot there. The weapons themselves, you can detach the head, swap them out. You can give Mjolnir a longer handle. You can give the ax a shorter handle. Let's look at another pose. Very nice, very nice little battle pose. Easy getting him in these poses and the joints feel super, super strong. As I mentioned, the cape is wired so you can get windswept action going on. Man, this is a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, you know that if you got a melee weapon, even if you're the God of Thunder, you gotta go through the iconic pose of Conan and he's dual wielding it and he's nailing it, nailing it. I want you to see how Thor can forward gaze while he's flying. I mean, outstanding articulation, right? But also what I thought was impressive was the fact that the wings on the helmet fit perfectly into these slots right here, you know? So that's some real great forethought, you know? Um, great design choice there. And it really makes this way more functional. A look from the front. That is a great looking fig, man. Heck yeah. All right, let's jump into today's theme comparison. First out, I'll bring out a few guys in armor. I'll bring out my amazing Yamaguchi war machine. And we'll get them side by side there. I'll also bring out my Mafex Invincible Iron Man. Thor is in good company with these guys. All right, so I'll bring out another hyper articulated figure my Infinity War Mafex Thor. And side by side there, he's shorter for sure. But if he were inside of this armor, it would make sense. I will also bring out my 
Thor Ragnarok figure from Marvel Legends. And he is a behemoth. One of my favorite figs that I picked up. And I really, really dig him. Next up, I will bring out my Herald of Galactus Thor. And this is another really awesome fig. I wasn't actually familiar with this character uh, when I saw him pop up online. And I had to look him up and I was like, oh, wow, get out of here. He's a Herald of Galactus, man. That's super cool. And last but not least today, I will bring out the mighty Thor from Thor Love and Thunder. And I understand that she also was in a comic run, the character, I mean. And this particular figure here is one of my favorite Marvel Legends female superheroes across all of Marvel Legends. I think she has a tremendous amount of attention to detail to her. She's pinless throughout. I think her musculature looks heroic without looking exaggerated. She has great proportions, swivel biceps. I mean, beautiful, beautiful figure. And she earns her spot in the Hall of Thor. Heck yeah, super dope. Turn around, my friend. There we go. As always, everybody, thank you so much for coming out and sharing the experience of collecting toys as an adult. And I hope you're able to keep coming back and share some experiences too. Until next time. Take care, everybody.